Pump for Google I.O. this week? Here's what to expect. Ah, I.O. Google's annual conference aimed at developers that's really, but not really, a place where if you're lucky enough to get a ticket, you might walk out with thousands of bucks of cool Google gadgets and swag. Also, you can learn how to build for Android and Chrome, but come on! free stuff. In years past, we've seen the debut of Google Glass and the Chromebook, but according to Google's head of mobile, this year's I.O. won't have, quote, much in the way of launches of new products or a new operating system. And instead of two keynotes over two days, one for Android and one for Chrome, this year Google is just doing one, which lends credence to the rumor of an Android-Chrome merger down the line. So, what will we see? Well, for starters, you probably won't see Android 5.0, but you may get a peek at Android 4.3 which has been rumored to have Bluetooth low energy support so your phone's battery won't drain when connected to things like smartwatches. Which would be an even better announcement if, say, Google's long-rumored smartwatch makes its debut this week. The one announcement you can almost bank on, thanks to a leak over the weekend, is Google Play Games. The service is kind of like Game Center on iOS and gives Android users things like cloud saves, leaderboards, achievements, and in-game chat. And because it's Google, they're forcing a bunch of Google Plus integration into it too, because they really really want people to start using Google+. Which, if you're one of the few who actually do use Google+, you might have seen Google TV teasing that they're gonna have some actual news about that product, so you know, look for that. Also, spoilers, the news is that Google TV is still around. Others are also speculating that we'll see an improved Nexus 7 tablet or an LTE-enabled Nexus 4, but what I'm hoping for is more information about Google's self-driving car and when and if we can ever expect to see one in our driveway. So what are you guys looking forward to during I.O.? Let me know in the comments below. And while we're on the subject of Google, Annie and myself will be hosting a Google Plus Hangout tomorrow afternoon at 4 p.m. Pacific. We'll be taking your questions, answering trivia, and talking about Morgan Freeman. You guys won't want to miss it. All the details are in the show notes below. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying, no really, Google, when am I going to get my own self-driving car? Because the Muni is terrible. It's a terrible nightmare box that I have to travel in every morning. It smells like fish. It may or may not be covered in vomit, depending on the day or time of day. Actually, all the time. I hate you, Muni. Today, I saw a woman with a face tattoo uh, arguing about uh, arguing to a, a man who was asleep about how she was normal. She has a face tattoo. It's not normal.